Do you think AI can help us push this 87% win rate strategy up to a 95% win rate? We'll be using the same principles all these big neural networks are built on and by using data science, this will be your goal for today. I'm money engineer and as a software engineer with a master's in machine learning, I've helped hundreds of traders pass challenges and finally getting payouts using AI and data science to optimize their trading strategy. Welcome to the series where in the coming weeks, I will take popular trading strategies on YouTube and make them even better using AI. So if you're interested in following us in this journey, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And today I'll show you exactly what is this 80% win rate strategy, how we're going to use neural networks principles, and how data science can help us increase the win rate of a strategy. First of all, is there really an 87% win rate strategy out there? Well, based on Trade with Pat's video, this one is. So let's cover it quickly. First of all, you will need an indicator. So you can just click here on indicator and then you can just write EMA. And take the first one. So for this strategy, we'll be using a simple moving average. So it's not really an EMA. And then when you come here, you can click on the settings and I'll give you exactly the settings for this EMA. So this will be of length 100 based on his video. The source is a close of set zero. The type, you can just put it to none and the length is five. And this strategy will be based on the one minute. So what I would do is I would focus on one specific trading session. So in our case, we'll focus on the New York kill zone from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. Since currently the moving average is going up and is very bullish, we'll just wait for price to come near the moving average and then continue up. So let's go over an example right there. So me personally, to make it a little bit more mechanical, I would like to have a close below the moving average and then a close back up the moving average because I think personally that putting a limit order right at the moving average would be a little bit too risky. So this is what I'm waiting for. If we get a close back up, I'll be able to take a trade. Not yet. And we just got the close above. So we can put in order. The stop loss below the low. And then we can go for a one to two, for instance. And there you go to take profit. So this example, like I said, I never cherry pick my trades. This was taken from just last week. Now, how can we use AI principles to make the strategy better? Just like AI engineers are doing when designing a system like a decision tree model, we need to identify the key features of the data. There are millions of features we can study, and I showed you a very popular one in my last video. So let's cover a new one today. The use or non-use of a fair value gap with the moving average, which is something he already talked about in his own video. We use a statistical journal to assess the impact on performance of this specific feature. But the real magic happens when you start combining multiple features at the same time, just like a decision tree, which is a popular machine learning model. So make sure to explore as many features as possible. This is what I'm going to do. I'll go through last week's price action and find all the trades I can so we can analyze the results after that. So I just finished journaling all the trades I found and here's where things get really interesting. While I was backtesting, I discovered something that I've never really noticed before. So let's take a look. And this is why it's so important to have a trading journal. So I'll use here the notion template I use in the group. So you can see that overall, I was able to find nine trades. If we look at the calendar, as I told you, today is the November 6th. This is the time of recording and I backtested last week. So you can see that there are some days where I was able to find three trades. So if you're trying to apply this in your day-to-day -day trading, I would limit myself to one or two trades to just manage risk. But overall, we saw some pretty good results. But let's see the overall win rate of this strategy because Trade with Pat was saying that he got a 88% win rate. In my case, I was only able to get 67% win rate, which is to be honest, pretty good. I only backtested one week. Maybe if you increase this, the number of trades studied, you can get maybe something closer to the 88% he was saying. But here's where things get interesting because I have multiple features we're using in the group. You can see all of them. But today, I really wanted to focus on the presence of a fair value gap within the one minute time frame. So let's take a look at one example of this type of trades. If we open up this one, which was a great win. You can see that price was clearly bearish. The moving average was also going down. Price went down, reached this fair value gap, had the close back down the moving average. And this is where I executed. And we, it went straight to take profit. So very nice trade. Let's look at another example where it included also a fair value gap. There is one right there. 
once again price overall bullish it's kind of ranging but you can see that it's going up right we're having new breakout structures right there another one right there we left this level gap price went directly to fill it stopped exactly at that point we had the break of the moving average and the close above so i executed right there and gave a nice one to two it even went to a 2.5 so let me show you what i found out with the fair value gap if we go in the feature analysis section so today we're going to analyze the fair value gap right there so you can see that in my examples we i had around nine trades ten trades Three of them included a fair value gap and all of them were winners. So I think that's pretty significant. I know this is not a lot of trades, but that's something you need to definitely check out for yourself if you're interested in using this strategy. Because I feel like this is pretty significant. 30% of the trades that I studied, 33% of the trades I studied had a fair value gap and we had a 100% win rate. And let me show you something else also. I wanted to also study the execution time because you know time is very important in trading. And you can see that two of the trades I took around 7.30 eventually went to a 5R. In the example I gave, I was always taking a take profit at a 2 because I was just gathering data pretty fast, but I was still studying how far price went. And during all the trades I took around 7 a.m., all of them went to at least 5R. So just playing with your take profit placement can do a lot with this strategy. Other things that was also interesting is that Anything taken around the 9.30 open, so I know this is specific to Forex, but I feel like there's still an impact of the equity open on the Forex market. So maybe that's something you need to keep in mind also. I took two trades between 9.15 and 9.30, and only one of the two was a winner. So if I was, for instance, putting a no trading window between 9.15 and 9.45, I could have saved myself two losses, but I lost one win. So that's the type of thing you need to study for yourself in your trading journal. And this is what we specialize in the group. And the real power really comes when you're starting combining different features. What if I'm combining the feature of the execution time with the feature of a one minute fair value gap? And this is what the prediction section of my trading journal is doing. But this will be for another video. So the goal of this video was to go from the 88% win rate of this strategy to a 95% win rate. It is true that we didn't prove that it was an 88% win rate, but we're still able using the fair value gap to bring it to a 100% win rate. Of course, as you're gathering more data, the win rate will definitely decrease, but that's for you to find out as you're gathering data. But here's the twist. If you're looking to add another feature on top of the two we covered today, I really suggest you watch this video where I cover another feature.